Hello dear friends, I am Amit Bilekar from Tips and Tricks by AMB welcomes you to my channel. Before moving further, if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon to get notifications of all my new videos. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about tablets, the intro. After going through this video, the learner will be able to define tablets, enlist advantages of the tablets, enlist disadvantages of the tablets, and enlist properties required in a tablet. Let's discuss about tablets. Majority of drugs are administered orally to achieve systemic effects. Tablets and capsules are the preferred dosage forms which are administered by oral route. About 70% of drugs or medicaments are available in tablet forms. Hence, understanding of processing of the tablets is very very important. Tablets are solid unit dosage forms containing medicaments or drugs with or without excipients and prepared by compression or molding method. As per Indian Pharmacopoeia, tablets are defined as tablets are solid, flat or biconvex discs, unique dosage forms prepared by compressing a drug or a mixture of drugs with or without excipients. Tablets are available in various size, shape and weight depending upon amount of drug and mode of their administration. Now let's discuss advantages of the tablets. First advantage of tablet is tablets are more stable dosage forms as compared with all other dosage forms. Thus these have longer shelf life and can be stored for longer duration. Thus, tablets have longer shelf life. These are lightest and most compact dosage forms. Thus, these are easy to handle, dispense and transport. Each tablet contains uniform dose. Hence, these are better in accuracy and precision of dose. Tablets are easy and cheap to manufacture and pack as compared with other dosage forms. Tablets are suitable for large scale production than any other dosage form. Next advantage is identification of tablets is simple as tablets can be available in various sizes, shapes and embossing on the tablet is also possible. Tablets are designed and packed as tamper-proof dosage forms. Thus, there are no chances of adultering or mixing. Tablets are easy to administer also. Bitter and nauseous substances can also be converted in tablet dosage form after giving a suitable coat on the tablet to mask bitter or nauseous taste. Thus, it is converted to palatable form even though drug contains bitter or nauseous substance. Next advantage is, it is easy to do modifications in tablets to convert them into various modified release formulations. So we can make various modifications to modify the release of drug from these formulations. Okay, so these are the advantages of tablets. Now, let's discuss about disadvantages of the tablets. First disadvantage of tablet is tablets are difficult to swallow in children and in unconscious patients. So, children are not eager to swallow the tablet, isn't it? So, that is the difficulty in swallowing in case of children and to unconscious patient, we cannot give anything orally, so we cannot give tablets to unconscious patients also. 
Second disadvantage is that tablets usually shows slow onset of action, hence cannot be employed in emergency conditions. So we cannot use tablets in emergency conditions. Another disadvantage is some amorphous substances and substances which are having low density cannot be easily compressed into tablet form as these resist the compression. So these substances cannot be converted into the tablet form. Next disadvantage is drugs with poor wetting, slow dissolution properties will not give full bioavailability from tablets. Thus, these substances are developed into another dosage forms. Next is, if drug have large dose, size of tablet may become very large, which is difficult to administer in that large form. Special processing or coating is required if drug is bitter or having objectional odor or sensitive to moisture or oxygen. It may increase the cost of the tablet. So these are the disadvantages of the tablets. Now let's discuss properties required in a tablet or ideal tablet. Let's discuss these properties. First property required in the tablet is tablets should have ability to withstand mechanical pressure during production, handling and transportation. It should withstand some mechanical pressure. At that mechanical pressure, it should not break. That is the desired property required in a tablet. Tablets should have chemical, physical and microbiological stability during its storage. Next property required is tablets should not have any defects like chipping, cracking, discoloration and contamination. Next property required in the tablet is tablets should have uniform dose. So each tablet should contain uniform dose, same dose. That is the main requirement in the tablet. Next is tablets should release the drug in a predetermined manner after its administration. So there should not be any fluctuations in the release of the drug. Whatever release pattern which we predetermine in that manner drug should be released. That property is required in the tablet. And tablets should have elegant appearance. So these properties should be required in a tablet. Now it's time to summarize today's session. First we had discussed that tablets are the one of the important solid unit dosage forms. We had discussed various advantages and disadvantages of the tablets. And finally, we had discussed the properties required in a tablet as dosage forms. Thank you for listening me patiently. If you like this presentation, please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications of all further videos. Like it and share it to your dear ones. Drop your queries in comments or on my mail address which is given in the video. Thank you once again.